What's up everybody, Matt Rand here for another Mustang Monday video. So uh, this video I'm gonna be covering my fuel economy here in the 2019 Bullet. And uh, so that's something I didn't cover in my review video. Uh, that's primarily just because I wanted to save some time because you know the review was already a little bit longer anyway. Um, so you know the uh, Bullets are rated at 15 in the city, 24 on the highway for a combined average of 18. And so, uh, excuse the rain, it just decides to downpour as soon as I start filming, wonderful. Um, anyway, uh, so in my uh, fuel economy so far, I've been actually getting better than the advertised rating, uh, which is really impressive for, again, a nationally aspirated uh, large V8 engine. So um, I've just been paying attention here as I got closer to the break-in period um, because, you know, early on, you know, things are uh, getting broken in. And so, uh, you know, it's not going to perform with the highest fuel economy, I think. So in my last few tanks here, I'm already at uh, 1,157 miles. Miles, so well over the break-in period now and in my past uh, two and a half tanks of gas here um, the first tank uh, that I started paying attention to I actually uh, averaged 19 mpg and then uh, the tank after that uh, had a little bit more highway driving mixed into it uh, but that one i actually managed to get 21.4 mpgs um, which again is well over the combined rating of 18 um, and then on this uh, last uh, like i've been driving since my review and been driving the car hard um, i actually have been averaging 17.7 mpgs still so even when i'm like driving the car hard um, it still seems to be getting even better than the city rating even though I'm doing you know city type of driving so uh, I think it's definitely performing better uh, than I was expecting I think part of that is these again taller gears um, so that allows you to kind of always be cruising at a lower RPM whenever you're not in a hurry and not trying to get up and go quickly um, so I think that's part of what helps that uh, and I haven't done a dedicated highway cruise in this yet um, because you can't actually use cruise control uh, until you would go through that break-in period or at least that's what uh, the owner's manual recommends so I haven't used cruise control yet I'm hoping to do some type of um, you know long distance like full tank highway drive here sometime uh, early this fall and we'll you know report back with just how high this can get fuel economy on the highway but I think it'll definitely well exceed the 24 mpg that it's rated at on the highway um, and uh, could even be close to my old GT I remember my old GT got like 28 I think and so uh, yeah and I think I actually almost kissed 30 once or twice uh, really taking it easy so I mean these V8s you know a lot of people are you know scared off by oh no it's a V8 it's gonna get horrible fuel economy and honestly you know compared to some turbocharged engines that really like to suck down gas whenever you're uh, you know getting on them and stuff I honestly think this is a really solid you know performance and really solid fuel economy and again I even mentioned this back whenever I swapped from the EcoBoost the GT a few years ago it's not a huge difference insurance wise it's not a huge difference uh, you know as far as fuel costs go it really isn't that much more of a premium if you can get over uh, if you can you know pay the higher price that the GTs command um, you know it's not that much more expensive and I would argue that the additional smiles per gallon you get are worth you know the extra five or ten bucks maybe per fill up or you know filling up a little more frequently obviously you know if you are hyper -miling all the time and you want the absolute best fuel economy the EcoBoost is still definitely the way to go um, because you do get better fuel economy just not so much better that I think it's it's a compelling feature of the EcoBoost and um, you know like I said it's continuing on here with this uh, bullet which is you know really an even more efficient now since it has port and direct injection so that helps it to be even more efficient and again that combined with the taller gearing uh, means this is a very uh, you know reasonable uh, V8 to own as far as operating costs and things at least in my opinion um, so anyway, just wanted to give you guys that little update here as the rain continues on. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts on, uh, you know, your GT's uh, fuel economy and, you know, what fuel economy you're getting in your vehicle in the comments below. And also, if you guys have any additional thoughts for any other uh, videos uh, that I haven't covered, you know, ideas that I haven't covered in my previous videos, please leave those ideas in the comments below and I'll try and, you know, do as many of those as it ma as makes sense and as many as I can do. I do have a few other ideas in mind, of course, for uh, these Mustang Monday updates on the bullet and of course I'll be giving you guys my ownership experience of you know any updates uh, otherwise but yeah any uh, I'm all ears you know for any other ideas uh, for things you guys want me to do with the car as well so anyway thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time take care